man, this so real out here. I came out here to go to the gym. It's like a white out in this motherfucking car. Can't see through the windows. I gotta let my car heat up. So, look. Woo, cold this bitch. So, I was sitting there, you know, listening to some things. And I just gonna make this statement and, and, and say, say for what it is. Some of y'all are crazy. This is what I mean by some of y'all are crazy. We sit back and we tell people that they should react the way that we really they should react. Why you gotta be so violent? Why you gotta be so aggressive? Let me tell you about violence and aggressive, right? And then I wanna ask you, I'm asking everybody how they see it, right? So, I'm trying to ask, I'm trying to figure out when any revolution has ever been won, not not without bloodshed, just won. Like, it's funny because the reason why people do what they do is because if they feel that you're going to do nothing but talk, then they're going to keep on doing it. People don't respect talk, for instance. Just imagine a CPS worker who takes kids know that they're going to get dealt with in the streets. Do you think they're going to keep on taking the kids? No. But knowing that nothing's going to happen to them, they're going to keep on taking kids. Why do you think they put majority black women in these CPS cases to take children? Because they know that that black woman is going to a black area or even a white area, they're gonna take the kid. And if you try to do something new, they cousin JoJo and Ray Ray and, and Ron Ron and all of them, they're going to hold them down because even though they're stealing kids and putting them up to slavery, but that's what CPS is, slavery. They know that they got the backing of a black community that has no thought process. Like, them, them Uncle Ray Ray's and JoJo's is not thinking like, damn, you're taking people, kids and selling them into slavery. That's what CPS workers are. So just imagine if they walk down the block and they knew that they'll get their head popped off. That's the problem. They don't think nothing can happen to them. Same thing with bitter baby mothers. They feel that they're safe to violate men because nobody, everybody's going to protect them. Instead of the, the family member saying, yo, you valid, you gotta deal with that yourself, however it happens. Think about that. Even gay people had to bang it out to get what they want. Come on, America became America because they had to fight the British. You think they sat back and said, please give us our independence, we beg of you. You think that the Jim Crow, they had the, the, the people, the dudes called the fighting deacons, right? Look it up, it's called the fighting deacons. They was running around with rifles saying, if the king and king step up, we popping your head off. You, you think that people was peacefully saying, please stop doing this? You think Martin Luther King really is the real reason why? No. It was transgression. When you transgress, they said, yeah, they, they're not playing no more. We, oh, we got to change things up. Because had we not transgressed, we would still be getting violated to this day. So you want to know why black men are being violated? Because we're talking too much, y'all. Let's be real. Black men, we talk too much. We the only people. If a woman, I don't give a fuck what her race is. If you violate a woman, she's coming at your head. She's coming at your head. She don't give a fuck who you are. And they know this. That's why they don't come at women like that. Why are they coming at black men like that? Because we're so cowardly sitting around just letting people violate us and our family. Think about this. You had the female cut cut the hair of that little girl. Know what I would have did? Cut her fucking hair out. Oh, you want to know how this feels? Shut up. Clip, clip. Cut her fucking hair out. That's the problem. We sit back and we call Shannon. and see what she's doing. See what she's doing. We sit there and let these police. Now, you ain't like, like I'm going to tell you this. Like the like when, when, when dudes get pulled over by the police and the police... No, don't ask you no fucking questions. 
You show them a different side, they only shoot them. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Anything you say, sir. You ain't got to be like that. I'm not telling you to be aggressive, ready to fight them. But goddamn, at least be ready to defend yourself. You sitting there, yes, sir, yes, sir, yes, sir. They still shoot you. You got people zapping you in the middle of the street. We do it in my neighborhood. What the fuck you doing in my neighborhood? God damn, like, why the, where the fuck do people get this? Okay, I'm, I'm a spiritual person. I do the stones and I do all that. Uh, that don't mean I'm, I'm me pussy. I'm going to sit around and just allow people to just violate me every day. Like, what people not understanding is this, man. This is, not what you, this is what you're not understanding. Stop allowing people who are not victims tell you how to move. Had a discussion. Why everybody's so mad at Kobe? It's not about the fact that they're talking about Kobe. It's like every time we turn around as a black man, we being attacked. But we got to do, we got to fight the way other people tell us to fight. No, you don't fight well. I want to see a woman get raped and then somebody say, stop crying about getting raped. I want to see a child get molested and you tell that child, don't relive it and don't get mad at the person who molested you. So how the fuck are you going to tell a bunch of people who are getting violated every day how they should fight? If a motherfucker violate a black man and he want to take it out on a, a why you call Gail King a, a nigga, I mean a, a bitch, that call them niggas, sellouts, coons, every bad name in the book, but they call her a bitch and everybody but her. So now, that's just what I'm talking about. Like, stop telling us how to react. And men, stop listening to that dumb shit. Because you know what? When I was growing up, right? If people violate us, and we took it to the street, motherfuckers would be like, nah, you gotta think twice about violating these young black men. They wowing. They gonna wow on you. It, it was known that if you violated one of us, we were coming for your head. We got so pussy that people could just look at certain people and be like, yeah, I'm just gonna do whatever because they ain't gonna do shit. I'm gonna violate them and then take my chances in court. And now time that kid in court is going. That's why women don't respect us. They don't. Because they're like, what are y'all going to do? I'm going to go to court. I'm going to go to court. And people are like, oh, white women take black men to court. Shit. Black women take black men to court too. What do y'all say about that? A black female taking you to court in a heartbeat for the dumbest shit. The dumbest shit. She get mad at you, she take you right to court. So it, it ain't got nothing to do with none of that. The fact of the matter is we ship back and we allow people to tell us how we should feel about when somebody violate us. Nah, nope. Look, the same aggression, the same disrespect that they give you, you, I'm, you, you have to give, we have to give it back. Y'all putting black men in a position where we have so many enemies that we're a walking target. Because if I got shot right now, walking down the street, you know what? I'm going to be attacked by everyone. He's this. He did that. He ain't no good. Fuck that uh, I got children and my kids love me. That don't mean anything to anybody. Anybody. If a black woman gets killed, we're going to rally for them. Let me talk shit about that black woman. Oh, I'm the worst person on the planet. But if I get killed right now, I'm just a piece of garbage. I'm going to be trashed by my own people and other people. So I'm telling you this right now, black men, if we don't step up and get, and if we don't take it by force, we're done. I'm telling you, it's to the point now that people feel like black, the, the biggest target on this planet right now is the American black man. Straight up. We are target. And they're letting us know that. Do what we say, boy. That's what we do that back to. You do what we say, boy. And our own women like, yeah. You do what we say, nigger. That's our own women looking down on us like that. Because when, even look at Snoop Doggy Dog. He said that shit about Gail King. It was nothing but black women that attacked him during his life. And what did he do? Apologize. Because he said, yeah, nigger, you apologize to us. That's how they looking at us. So you can't tell me that. That's not how we see it. You got Dwayne Wayne going to cut his son's dick off. Man, get the fuck out of here. Step the fuck up.